a young uh, Veronica Dobson, a young um, ginger porter Rinya. I'm Veronica Parola Dobson. I uh, lived at uh, Santa Teresa, ginger porter, and my people worked around that area on cattle stations and we normally always used to go back onto homeland and hunt and gather bush foods and live on that as well as a bit of ration that was given to my family. Aboriginal uh, people of the desert, that's how they perceive their stories, their dances, body paintings, everything to do with country. This is Aljara, Mara, Churjurbala, meaning the Aboriginal people, and plants, foods, and everything to do with what we use on the land. So this is the creation time, this is the land, this is the people of the land and this is the foods and the actual plants of the land. Alagan. It's actually a law that we abided by, like the town laws, you know, like city laws and that. This is what we abided by, the kin and skin group. And this is how we perceive how we fit into the land, everything to do with the land, the sky, the underground things and also the sites, the waters, um, everything to do with it. And now we're talking about the Kajara. It's the bush raisin. And there is a totem and stories to that plant as well. So burning, water places, Sky underground, seasons, habitat, animals, plants, and also sites and tracks. These green ones you don't eat, and they turn a yellow colour. That's called Allah, and when they dry it out like this, you pick them and eat them as well. Also, what people used to do is pick them and then pound them and make them into a, a, a cake type thing and eat it as well. The Akajaras, and the, these are what they are. And of course, the actual Akajara is a totem to some people. Some people have got that as a totem and they respect that plant and you know people like to sort of make sure that the akajara tend to grow when they need it to grow and sometimes it needs burning so people burn the actual spin effects and it burns the actual kajaras as well that makes it grow a lot better so it brings back you know, turkey, emu to eat it and then they eat the actual source of the uh, meat from the turkey or the emu and they also eat the actual uh, kajira as well, the people because it's a fruit that they like eating. They won't burn when it's windy like this. They wait until it was, you know, still and the right time to actually burn the country and it was the actual owner of the country and also the manager that did it. A lot of the uh, buffalo grass growing here as you can see and along the river banks there used to be a lot of yelkas growing and a lot of the yelkas have disappeared from around these areas. The buffalo grass has taken over and also other plants like the pencil yam, the bowl bill of vegetables that was collected by my people with the yokas and they've all gone now.
because of the buffalo grass and also cooch. And a lot of the young people are not knowing any of this information. And it's good to sort of hand down their knowledge to the young people so that respect the tree and know that it's an important plan to our people.